If you don't think you can French braid your own hair, well, girl, we might be really good friends after this video because I'm about to change your life and show you how you can do a French braid on your own hair and have people compliment it, okay? Because a lot of my friends on here have been telling me that they can do a French braid on their own hair and girl, just shake out your arms, give them a little stretch. I remember the first time I started French braiding my hair, it was a little bit tricky. So be a little bit patient, be a little bit patient, but just start out by really, really brushing out your hair. Make sure all of those tangles are out because I promise this will make your first time French braiding your own hair a lot easier. Some people like to get their hair wet. Some people like to use styling cream. I'm not going to use any of that today just because I'm lazy. We like that loose, pretty braid, okay? Take your two pointer fingers and you're literally just going to grab a top section. Some people like to start up way the front. We're not doing that today. Grab a top section and pull it to the back. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to do my very best to explain this, okay? Someone in my last video said I'm not good at explaining things. Wasn't this top fun? It's from Amazon. I'm not a red wearer, but I love this top. Okay. You're going to take your top section here and you're going to split it into three parts. You want a chunk here and a chunk to your left. Try to make them as even as possible, okay? If not, that's okay. That's okay. We're just learning. We're just learning. Arms are over your head like this. I'm going to take my right side and I'm going to cross it over the middle piece and put the middle piece in my right hand. So we're making an X essentially, okay? And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take this side, you're going to take your left side, and then you're going to cross it over that new middle strand and make another X and switch pieces. You've got two strands in your right hand, one strand in your left hand. This is where a lot of people get confused. I usually like to put all three sections in my left hand, okay? Like that. You're going to take this right hand and all you're going to do, don't worry about grabbing a chunk. You're just going to drag a layer and add it to this outside edge, okay? So you just added hair to that strand. So now it has some friends. It has, and you're gonna cross it over the middle, just like so, okay? Switch them over, switch all your pieces, take all your pieces and put them in your right hand now. And you're just gonna drag a little layer and add it. See that, do you see that? I pinched it. Add it to this far strand. Then you're gonna take it and you're gonna cross it over. And that is all you have to do all the way down your hair. The perfect summer hairstyle. You added in all the hair that you can add in. I like to pull this forward and just finish the braid all the way down. If you're bringing it forward like this, then you're going to put the strands behind. When you bring them to the front, that's when you cross under. I just broke that elastic. Clear elastic or whatever your heart desires. Secure that at the end. If you want to floof it out, great. If you don't want to floof it out, that's fine. That's when you just kind of pull out those edges. And there you have a perfect French braid that hopefully you can do on yourself. Hope this helps. I hope we can be friends now. Give yourself a little time, a little patience. So if you guys want to see more tutorials, just follow along because I definitely have a lot more. Just another episode of Braiding School 101 with Kenna. Love you guys.